Hi, I'm Rick Steves. I'm just in a taxi going out to the airport in Brussels, and my driver is Peter. And Peter was explaining to me about Belgium. It's a fascinating country. Uh, Peter, you said if you drive how far from Brussels, you leave the country in every direction? If you go 200 kilometers in any direction, you're in another country. Wow. And how many people live in this little country of Belgium? 11 million people. And is it about half and half French speaking and Flemish speaking? The northern part is Flemish speaking and that's about 6 million and the southern part is 5 million French people. Now there's a big discussion in, in Belgium about the Flanders people breaking away and having independence. Is it a matter of just the language? The, the Flemish people want to have their language treated more fairly or is it fundamentally uh, economic, would you say? No, it, it, in fact, it doesn't have anything to do with language. That's just a coincidence. But before, um, the all educated people, like 100 years before, all educated people were speaking French. Because schools, primary schools were in Flemish, but universities didn't exist in, in, Fre in, in, in Flemish. Okay, so historically in Belgium, the farmers and the workers were Flemish, and the economic leaders, the educated people, the elites were French speaking. Yeah, that's right. But that was because they had more money in, in Wallonia, in the south. What was the big industry in the south? There was the charcoal and uh, iron ore industry. Okay, old industry, but those are gone now. Those are gone, and now more important became the harbor of Antwerp, the oh. diamond industry, glass industry, chocolate industry. So these are industries in the Fla Flemish part, the, the north of Belgium. <laughs> so today, the Flemish people are more, more wealthy than the French people. Uh, but the taxation is subsidizing the people in the southern part of the country. Uh, that is true because yeah. we, since we are more and since we are making, averagely spoken, more money per person in the Flemish part, we pay more tax. But so, whenever is there money to be spent, they spend it 50-50. Now, is it fair to say that the southern part of this country is more like southern Europe, a little more Joie, uh, enjoy the moment and, yeah, the, and the northern part is more German and work harder and make more. So I guess there is a big discussion in Belgium about uh, Flemish and the French speaking half Wallonia, but uh, what is the time when everybody is together and not complaining about the, uh, the division? Uh, when the Belgian soccer team is, uh, is like now in the European Championship, you know, we are all together disappointed, disappointed <laughs> that we didn't make the final. So then we are united. With, okay. the, with the football thing, we are united. So maybe that's a great thing about football here in Belgium. It's the one thing that brings all 12 million Belgians together. Thank you, Peter.